Hi, this is Tony Price for ChaseTheBracelet.com, and we just received in our RFID kit for our new poker table. We are going to be building it later, but the uh, kit that we just ordered from Australia has arrived, and I was going to unbox it and show everybody how it came. Uh, this is the first step in making our table, is to get the parts we need. And uh, let's see what we got here. Um, I've already opened it up a little bit, and the international paperwork and information, and some bubble wrap. Good amount of bubble wrap. And let's see. We have oh, we have the RFID antennas. It looks like in here. We should have ordered 14, so there should be 14 here. there are 14 there. Each one goes to a different uh, spot in the table. And let's see, well, let's take a look at one of those first. Apologize for the shakiness. Alco Track RFID Antenna Revision 1 quality pass and has some electronics on it. And it looks like there's an antenna all around the outside of it. So there are 14 of those. Let's see what else we have. Okay. It looks like it's Here's the cards. Now we ordered four decks of cards, and it looks like they have handwritten on there two blue ones, and I'm going to guess the two red decks. Here's the blue. Here's the red. Okay. It says. Cardamundi on him. Three one nine three two six slash two nine RFID. So they must be the RFID cards. We will find out probably in the next unboxing, or at least assembly. So we've got two blue and two red decks. I guess I should have specified. I kind of wanted all the same decks because. They are $148 a deck, and when some of the cards went bad, I could just replace them. Uh, I might, uh, I might email them and see what the, how they'll work. That uh, next we have the uh, they call them I believe they're player cards, and so you assign a player to each one of the cards, and they're nothing more than white on both sides. I think we're going to have to learn how to use those and to uh, program those. I ordered 20 of those and it looks like they're all there. So that when I guess a, a, a player sits down at the table uh, they put it on the RFID and it uh, tells the computer what who, who the player is. There are some wires with connections, all sealed. Fourteen of those, and okay. And finally, the motherboard, which is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, and I'm happy about that. Uh, let's see. Good thing I don't have an anti-static mat to, uh, to open this up with. All right. Let's see how this is. Looks like there's some USB ports on it. Not exactly sure what's going on there. 
needs to be uh, some sort of a plug in that one. Uh, so I, could, I did not get a power supply with this, which uh, so I'm going to find out which one I have to get. There is a card on top of this. Some USB ports on this side. It looks like there's where you plug all the uh, cables in. It looks like around here. Each one's labeled. There is instructions that are downloadable online. And let's see. Let's see if I can read or see anything. It just says SM-M2-MH-HF version 2.2 .2 on that. Uh, let's see what it says on the back. A whole bunch of V's. And it says here, I apologize if that's not focusing in, but it says AlcoTrack RFID Reader Revision 1.0. it. So we have the motherboard with all the connections that the wires are going to go to, all of the RFID antennas, the cards, two decks, two red, two blue, and 20 player cards. And we have a little bit of time. I'm going to open up the blue deck, take a look at that. Okay, now these are about the same size as a normal playing deck. They seem a little bit thicker, but not much. Maybe about, oh, 15% thicker. Um, but I'm used to playing with the paper cards instead of plastic cards. And okay, so we have a joker, the ace, and it does say RFID on it. This is on an iPhone. I would think that it would be able to focus, but I guess not. Thank you, Apple. And the other cards do not show uh, the name RFID on it. Uh, let's see. Actually, that's not, I guess you, oh, maybe you can see it. They had sent us samples before. There is a antenna in there, and it's about a, uh, a quarter inch around the outside of where the yellow box ends. Definitely not visible on that side. So the entire deck, let's see what else is in here. Two more jokers. And a card that says manufacturing guarantee. So that is the entire deck. And they are out of Belgium. So that is it. That is our uh, initial uh, box of stuff that we've got. Uh, we are building a really nice table, hopefully. And uh, this is, again, for a show that we actually have been broadcasting uh, season one, which is called Chase the Bracelet. Uh, Chase the Bracelet is a live uh, broadcast poker show that we have been doing. And uh, this is going to take us to the next level. Uh, we are There's uh, infinite possibilities that we can do with this. Uh, we will be looking at what those are. But uh, please visit us at www.chasethebracelet.com.